it may seem like the sounds outside your window have changed a little bit recently. We make a lot of noise, but as people have stopped commuting and traveling, so have the sounds those activities produce. With so many of us staying home, you might now be able to hear sounds you once weren't able to hear. My name is Shane with the Science Center of Iowa, and today is all about the science of soundscape ecology. All of the sounds in an area make up its soundscape. Where you are on Earth affects the sounds you hear. A soundscape from a sidewalk in New York City sounds totally different than the sounds of sandhill cranes in Nebraska. As the environment and living organisms change, so does the soundscape. Let's listen to a soundscape together and see if you can guess the location. To better study soundscapes, soundscape ecologists break sound into three categories, biophony, geophony, and anthropophony. With the prefix bio meaning life, biophony refers to sounds made by living organisms, like birds and animals. The prefix geo means earth, so geophony refers to sounds made by nature, like wind and water. And anthropophony refers to sounds produced by humans, like vehicles and machines. Let's listen to this soundscape from right here in Des Moines together. While you listen, make a list of all the different things you hear making sound. When we are done listening, we'll see if we can sort that list into its proper categories. In just that short clip, I was able to hear a lot of different sounds. I heard sounds from three different birds to my count. You might have heard more or less, but that's okay. That's why teams work together on projects like this. I heard sounds from an air conditioner or similar machine outside someone's house. I also heard sound from the wind. Now, let's sort these sounds. Birds are living organisms, so we know those bird sounds are biophony. That air conditioner noise wouldn't exist if it weren't for humans, so we know that's anthropophony. And that noise from the wind, we know is geophony. In the future, I could research what bird species live in this area to see if I can identify the bird sounds in this soundscape. I could also record it at a different time and see if the same birds are still there. It's a lot of fun to record your own soundscape, and it's a great way to study the environment around you. You could record it different times on the same day and, and compare the two or you could record it the same time on different days and compare the two. You see where this is going. Soundscape ecologists use data just like that when they study environments. So with a little bit of patience and a keen ear, you can be a soundscape ecologist in your own backyard. 